So we gather and welcome to all who join with us here in our church this morning for the celebration of our Mass for Richie. Um, most especially, of course, welcome to those who join us via the airwaves and conscious, of course, very much of Alwyn and Dean and their families and with Adrienne and Ronan and Richie's family, we gather here, uh, united in spirit in that bond of family love to celebrate our funeral Mass. And as we begin the Mass, we receive and acknowledge the great symbols, uh, the symbols of life which represent our lives, the gifts that are bestowed upon us. And Adrian has a couple of items which would symbolize in a very strong and meaningful way the gift of Richie's life. So you just may present them to us here now and we leave them on the little table, Ronan, at the front of the church for our celebration. Secrets in the shoes. Thank you, and uh, sadly, I'm size 10, so it's no good to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a queue. Yeah, yeah, they'll be well sought after. Uh, so they, they are rich, colorful, and meaningful, of course, the symbols. And as we gather in prayer, uh, the symbols that, of course, also represent uh, that kind of richness and wealth of gift that we celebrate, uh, particularly the word, the book with the word of God, and the cross, which already decorates the coffin. They are the symbols of Christian life, uh, the gift of God's presence in our lives, his, his life, his living presence in the word. And of course, the cross represents for us that victory over sin and death, that all who come to the Lord are belonging to the Lord. And we, of course, believe that Richie has departed this life, but has returned that presence of God in the fullness of his life and love. So we place these symbols upon the coffin also. So we gather in prayer and as we begin, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So welcome again to all of you who come here with us and share in this time of prayer, uh, those who are close by outside perhaps who wanted dearly to be here, and those who are away that are unable to be gathering with the family at this time. For as we know, uh, it's quite an unnatural way for us to celebrate and to experience and to indeed cope with that burden of sadness and it is further injured by the absence of presence and closeness at such time and I'm sure over the past weeks that uh, difficulty of not being able to spend all the time possible together as family and united with Richie during those times. So it, it bears heavily upon us and with you uh, Adrian and Ronan and joined with Ian and Alwyn and their families away, um, carrying you with our prayerfulness and uh, in that spirit that lifts and that keeps strong at this time. It's most especially important for you 
and for all who grieve at this time the loss of Richie. And as we celebrate our Mass today, that we are uh, united in a great bond of unity and strength in the presence of God, uh, that we are so as healed from that burden and that woundedness of loss and grief and pain that is inflicted when someone whom we love is parted from us, is taken from us. And as we gather in the presence of God, that he abides with us in strength, in peace, and in grace. And so as we celebrate our Mass, that we look to the Lord for his eternal gift of love and mercy, as he, we pray that the welcome Richie receives home into that homeland with all who have gone before us is a welcome filled with joy, filled with a great sense of celebration, unity, and peace in the Lord, and that we who journey onwards are given the strength to bear the, the burden of loss and sadness and filled with the grace and peace of the Lord. So we gather in prayer on this day. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O God, who have set a limit to this present life so as to open up an entry into eternity, we humbly beseech you that, by the grace of your mercy, you may command the name of your servant, Richie, to be inscribed in the book of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. So I invite those who read the readings, first and second reading in the psalm, please you may come to the ambo. First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples banquet rich food, banquet of fine wines, of food rich and juicy, of fine strained wines. On this mountain, he will remove the mourning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth, for the Lord has said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped. We exalt and we rejoice that he has saved us. This is the word of the Lord. <laughs> Sam responds. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my light and my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O oh God, my help, though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I will see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So that alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. 
This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. This is also why you should never pass judgment on each other or treat each other with contempt, as some of you have done. We shall all have to stand before the judgment seat of God. As scripture says, be my life, it is the Lord who speaks. Every knee shall bend before me, and every tongue shall praise God. It is to God, therefore, that each of us must give an account of himself or herself. This is the word of the Lord. So let us stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, you whom my Father has blessed, says the Lord. Take for your heritage the kingdom prepared for you since the foundation of the world. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak this is what he taught them. Blessed are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. Blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is, what is right, they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Just be seated for a few moments. I thought the first reading uh, from the prophet Isaiah, that vision of the great feast and gathering would be appropriate for Richie, who uh, would be so at home with the whole level of entertainment and celebration and bring a great deal of color to the whole banquet himself. It is, of course, that image and vision of the unity, the reuniting and gathering together of all that we have lost. I suppose it's complete. It is a total healing, a total perfection of the imperfections that we encounter and experience in life, and how life can be a struggle for us, how life can test us. It can not always be what we would wish it to be, and how it is marred by maybe the imperfections of life in so many different ways. But being restored is the great vision and hope and the image that is portrayed as the prophet brings that word of great assurance to us. And I'm sure as this day comes that it brings a great sadness and a great deal of loss, maybe a sense of emptiness or failure or despair itself. And having, I'm sure, over the past few weeks, had that great fearfulness and worry and anxiety for Richie during his long and difficult illness, or well, those long few weeks at least, that there is a sense of great separation and loss, but that we pray that there is also a sense of togetherness, a sense of hopefulness, even gathered with those who are not present with us, but that we know we are together that we are not alone, that we have that hallmark of being together in faith, family members, relatives, dear friends, neighbors, and those who would entrust their cares to us and their care for our 
moments of difficulty, and sadness, and loss. Our Mass today celebrates the gift of presence in our lives, that eternal presence, Christ always present. We may not feel or know his physical presence, but it is a presence which surrounds us. I think that presence of those whom we lose in life and have parted from us is also a sense of presence, presence of Richie's goodness, the memories, the experiences shared, the love that was gifted to one another in family life, husband and wife, children, grandchildren, brother, dear friend, neighbor, work colleague. All those ways that continue to be present to us and to keep that cloak of uh, refuge and shelter for us, that feeling of uh, that we can hold on to something very dear, very precious, that is the memory and love shared with the person whom we lose on this occasion for Richie. And as Christ reminds us in the words that was the gentleness of life itself is the gift that we share, uh, that life may not be always as we would wish for, but there is a bond, a hope, a blessedness. That blessing remains, the blessing of Richie's life, all the goodness that he shared, his experiences, his commitment, his work, his providing, his friendship, his entertaining, his fun, his dedication, his com all the things that identify as that uniqueness of Richie's life, the blessing. It's like the imprint of his hand upon so many things and upon so many people. That's what we celebrate and hold on to today. We experience in the depth of unity and love and friendship. And God's blessing brings to us that imprint of uh, what is the goodness and strength of life, that which was we endeavor to succeed in being the best we can be and making life good for others. That's uh, part of life's goal. It's that uh, presence that Christ came to bring us to show us that life is a gift, uh, life is precious, and we celebrate it to the best of our ability that he is with us to share that life, to make it wholesome, to make it strong, to heal the brokenness when it happens, to celebrate the joy that we are given and the unity that we, that we celebrate. So may the Lord be with us on this day and at this time uh, to bring that message and that sense of great uh, unity and hope and togetherness and that we will despite the difficulties, maybe the, the lack of presence and unity, uh, the lack of closeness that we will continue on, provided for and strengthened by the gift of goodness, the love of the Lord, and those who are with us on the journey. And the riches life as an offering to God may be a full and complete offering, and that uh, to be now in the presence of his, all those who have gone before him, deceased family members, his own parents, his relatives, those who were part of his life in the past, that they share together that gift of unity, happiness, and eternal peace. Amen. So we now turn to the Lord and offer our intercession prayers. I invite those who lead us in prayer of the faithful that may come forward. And Christ is the good shepherd who gave his life to save his sheep. In our loss, we turn to the Lord, and with confidence we make our needs known to him. Richie has departed his earthly home. May he reach the peace and joy of God's eternal kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all the family, especially Adrian, his children Ronan, Alwyn, Ian, his grandchildren, family members and relatives who will mourn his loss 
May Christ comfort all of them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who suffer illness of body or mind. May Christ, the gentle healer, bring them comfort and peace in their suffering. Let us thank God for all who care for the sick, especially for all those who cared for Ritchie in Connolly and Beaumont Hospital. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all our deceased relatives and friends, especially members of the Hatch family, that the Lord may bring them into the light of his presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember other special intentions that we include in our Mass this morning. Lord, hear us. Lord, you give us the certainty that beyond death, there is a life where broken things are mended and lost things are found, where there is rest for the weary and joy for the sad, where all that we have loved and willed of good exists, and where we will meet again our loved ones. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings for the salvation of your servant, Richie, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for us in heaven. And so with the angels and archangels and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, 
We sing the hymn of your glory is without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, o Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her spouse, Saint Joseph, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Tom, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Richie, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who has was united with, his, with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died, and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. So let us stand now and... We pray to our Heavenly Father with hope and confidence in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the Lord open to him the gates of paradise, that he may return to that homeland where there is no death, where eternal joy endures. Just to receive Holy Communion, if you wish, you may just come up through the center aisle, maybe in a single file, and then you can return uh, by either side just to keep everyone safe and distant uh, at this time. Let us pray. Lord God, 
whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our brother Richie may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I'd just like to, uh, as we conclude our Mass, again, uh, acknowledge those who join us via the uh, webcam or the YouTube platform, and of course especially with Alwyn and Ian and their families at this time and many others who are uh, absent and who so wish, dearly wish to be here with you on this occasion to, to support you and be with you at this time of great loss. And just to thank those who are uh, present and those who led us in the prayers and readings for our Mass this morning, uh, for Sean for his musical accompaniment and those who provide the, um, the facility of streaming our celebration here from Kitloon this morning. So, uh, and a good work and effort by all to make sure things are taken care of and to be as inclusive as possible at this difficult and uh, unusual time for all of us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you now and always, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So we pray, have the prayer of accommodation now, and then we make our way to the cemetery together. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Richie. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. And once again, we sprinkle the coffin with holy water, that water uh, that Richie received in baptism, and that now the baptism into new and eternal life is received. Uh, the response just for our song of farewell is receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead, angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Richie, in the sure and certain hope that, together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Richie in this life. They are signs to wash off your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ. And we are with you and with our brother forever and ever. Amen. In peace now, we take Richie to his place of rest here at the cemetery.
Our brother Richie has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. We pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. In the scriptures we read, Our true home is in heaven, and Jesus Christ, whose return we long for, will come from heaven to save us. We bless this place now where Richie is at rest. O God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, bless this grave and send your holy angel to watch over it. As we bury here the body of our brother Richie, deliver his soul from every bond of sin, that he may rejoice in you with your saints forever. Amen. Because God has chosen to call Richie from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. Dear friends, in reverence let us pray to God the source of all mercies. You raised the dead to life. Give to our brother Richie eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to all Richie's family this time and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Richie. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. We pray for all who are buried in this cemetery. May their suffering be lessened. May their joy be increased. May the light of glory shine on them. May they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. Loving God, from whom all life proceeds and by whose hand the dead are raised again, though we are sinners, you wish always to hear us. Accept the prayers we offer in sadness for your servant Richie. Deliver his soul from death, number him among your saints, and clothe him with the robe of salvation to enjoy forever the delights of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us bow our heads and pray God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. 
You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We recite a decade of the rosary now for the happy repose of Richie's soul. Um, we pray the first glorious mystery, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from death into new life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. One without end. Amen. May the prayers of Mary, the Mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, help those who mourn for Richie and accompany all of us in our time of need. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Good morning. Hey. I'm Jerry, Richie's brother. I want to welcome you all here today to Richie's funeral. It is indeed a very sad occasion. Unfortunately, Alwyn and Ian cannot be with us today because of this global pandemic and the restrictions to travel. Ian is in Scotland with his family and Alwyn is in Madrid with her family. Adrian and Ronan have asked me to read out their tributes, reflections, to their dad, Richie. Because of diocesan directives from the bishop, it was not possible to address these tributes within the church. And so under these procedures, it can only be done after the burial. I will start with Ian's address. Although today is going to be a hard day, we want to take the time to remember and share some of the special memories we had with Dad. As someone who loved an opportunity for a social event, even with the limited numbers today, Dad would be fuming if he knew he was missing out, let alone for an event in his honour. On behalf of the family, We'd like to thank you for being here with us today. Richie and Adrian were able to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary together in October. The much acclaimed title of Husband of the Year will perhaps elude him for yet another year. A 50 year marriage that provided a loving home to family and friends and much laughter and memories made. A father to Ronan, Alwyn and Ian, a proud granddad to Bayan, to pa Paula, Lachlan and Joshua. All the grandchildren share the same fond memory of their granddad, being the first person to greet them with a smile and an embrace and a hug at Dublin Airport. Dad was a man dedicated to providing for his family, but is also extended to his friends and customers. He had a great way of welcoming people who he had just met, as if they were already family. Always willing to volunteer, to be the centre of attention in the crowd, 
regardless if his services were required or not. <laughs> his love for a catchphrase could rival Roy Walker or Bruce Forsyth. His much quoted, never a hitch with a hatch, was always said with sheer and utter conviction, soon followed with a howling laugh of reality. Born with a temper fuse, shorter than his fringe, he never quite got the gist of patience. An inability to say no to scraps of somebody else's plate, or a chill glass of Sauvignon Blanc, accompanied with the customary glass of ice. He embraced his life to the fullest, and expressed every emotion. Picture a horse striding to victory, Terenure rushing over the try line, or Seve chipping in, and you'll soon see Dad smiling back at you. Richie Hatch, a man who in his own words was lucky enough to have been born young. He lived the life he wanted to lead. It's with love and thanks that we say our goodbye now. I'll follow that with all ones. Where do you start and where do you finish when it comes to describing Dad, Grandad, Richie or Mr. Hatch? This could sound like one of his party piece songs, but maybe I'll just take advantage of this special gathering in adverse times to share a few thoughts with you. It's no secret, he hid nothing, but at the same time he shared everything. He loved the challenge, to build from scratch, to deal, or seeing the other dog win. He always said he was a people's person, and true to his motto, he had more people's corners than those in the beds and lockers he sold. We were all given one life to live, but just as Ian mentioned, Dad was born young, so he liked to think he could chance his arm every once in a while sometimes in the fast lane, as he preferred to call it, and at others, bringing out the Fenian in him, especially in recent years. He fought against no one, he fought against not one, not two, but close to half a dozen major adversaries, but still clinged to his love of life. Did he march to the beat of his own drum? We can all imagine his answer. Believe me, no other way. Dad was a man of character. He knew which Richie was needed in every situation. And he loved being that person, the one that made the difference. To conclude and to continue his legacy, here are some quotes from his grandchildren. Balan, a man that always matched his handkerchiefs with his ties. A true influencer. I'll continue your legacy in vogue as soon as I get my degree. Love you with all my heart. Paula. Careful when he asked you for a chip. Because Grandad showed me that one chip is the same as a handful of them. And then you have none. <laughs> Lachen. You give the biggest hugs. And I love you very much. Joshua. Love you to the moon and back. Dad. Grandad. Richie. Mr. Hatch, rest in peace. And to conclude with my own few words. We all know that Richie had a huge love and affection for his family. But he also had a great love for life. He really enjoyed his sports and watching them he could be, it could be golf, GA, soccer, and rugby, and watching Terry Neuer. But I think he got his biggest kick from his job, the job of a salesman. It's well known that Richie could sell sand to the Arabs. But he wouldn't be happy with that, unless he also sold them the buckets and spades and the sunbeds. He had customers who all became friends. 
As a testimony of that, is all the condolence messages left on the RIP message board over the last few days. I want to thank on behalf of Adrian and Ronan and family, all the doctors and nurses from Connolly and Beaumont Hospital who took such loving care of Richie in his last days. I had a dream on Saturday night after Richie's passing. And in it, Richie was standing in, the front of Saint, in front of Saint Peter at the pearly gates of heaven. Peter had the book of life in front of him. And Richie watched as Peter totted up the ticks and the X's. Richie did the sums quickly and said to Peter, Ask Gaelga, Cai tu mea ligin to stach. He did this to get the extra 10%. <laughs> and with that, he did get through the pearly gates. As Richie was passing through there, there were two angels standing in front of him with parchment in their hands. Richie turned to them and said, Oh, sure, I'll have a look at the menu. And sure, I might have a look at the, the, wine, the wine list as well. <laughs> Once again, I want to thank you all for coming here today. It's strange and difficult times we live in with this COVID pandemic, but especially when it's a funeral with all the rules, regulations and restrictions. I know that Adrian, Ronan and family want to have a celebration of Richie's life sometime in the future, when we can look forward to happier times. I hope that, they will all meet, that we will all meet again and give Richie the send-off that he truly deserves. A yeshte gareva anam yilish. <laughs>